I'm an addict for sneakers. I'm an addict. Sneaker addicts. What up? It's your boy Dells. We got the Air Jordan 1 OG Game Royal 2018 Retro in hand. Going to give you a detailed look before we do so. Subscribe if you're new and hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. and lets YouTube know it is okay for them to notify you as soon as I upload a new video. So you don't miss out on future content. Now, back in the days, we've seen images floating around on like Nike Talk and other sites of this sample. And it's coming to life now. This actual colorway. It's basically a blue-based Chicago Jordan 1 colorway. And I think that a lot of people are definitely going to try to pick these up when they release. Which will be on March 24th for $160 at select retailers like Nike.com and Foot Action, Foot Locker, retailers like that. Let's get up close, take a look. You got your perforations on the toe with your white leather, your Game Royal leather right there. It's either Game Royal or Royal. And um, the leather's okay. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good, I must say. You got your swoosh in black, and then you've got your Wings logo right there up top. Love that classic logo. I just, I've always been a fan of that logo right there. There's a quick look at the back of the shoe. Check it out. And there's a look at the medial side. As far as the fit, I recommend going true to size on Jordan 1s. If you have a narrow foot, you probably could go down half a size. I like to go true to size, though. But I have gone down half a size because they didn't have my size. And I have gone up half a size because they didn't have my size. But, you know, these Jordan 1s, some of the colorways sell out so quick. You got to get what you can. If you got to go up half a size, get one of them, like, things to avoid creasing. You buy them at all different type of stores. There's so many different brands. But you stuff it inside of the shoe and it'll prevent... The toe from creasing but jordan ones to me is one of the few jordan retros that look pretty good when they're creased i mean i prefer them not creased but they still look decent i would say the jordan one and the jordan three when they have that crease on the toe it gives it a little character let me know if you agree or not and also take a look at these right here let me know which one you like better i just threw in a quick pick one let me know if you like these Royals better, or do you like these, I guess we'll nickname them Blue Chicagos. Unless there's another nickname for them. Let me know which one you like better. Leave that in the comment box below. And make sure to hit that thumbs up button, please. I love seeing a lot of thumbs ups. And you know what? I had a really rough day today. I gotta say, today was a super rough day. I may talk about it in my next podcast if you didn't listen to the first one, I'll link it in the description box below the Patreon exclusive podcast. I definitely um, had a really crazy day today, but that's not why you're here. <laughs> so let's take that bird's eye view look at the toe right there. Check it out. Check it out. And then you've got your black laces, your nylon tongue with your Nike Air logo up top. You got your white insole with your Nike branding. And then there's a look at the outsole with your Nike branding. And there you go. With a close-up HD look at these shoes. Let me know what you think of them. Are you excited about this colorway? Are you kind of just whatever about it? I feel like these are going to sell out so, so quick. I mean, me personally, I feel like this is going to fly off of the shelves absolutely fly off the shelves so if you want these you better be on it i will post information to help you guys out in the morning over on my blog the sneaker just go there in the morning i would say around eight o'clock and i'll have tons of information where to find it all that good stuff so that hopefully you could score them and also on my Twitter, at DJ Dells. If you don't follow my Twitter, I'm always tweeting out information, links, about restocks, releases, all that good stuff. Don't forget, we got the sneaker addict tees available now. It's true to size. I will link that also in the description box below. Also, I definitely want to talk about this Air Jordan 9 bread. This thing flew off the shelves today, man. This thing sold like hotcakes I was not seeing this happening, but at the same time, how did I not realize 
People got money this week, man. People are getting paid off of their tax refunds. So people are rich. They balling. They are spending that money, making it rain at the sneaker store, baby. I can't believe I didn't see this coming. I did the review. If you did not see the review, I will put that in the description box or pop up somewhere on the screen. It's a really dope pair of kicks, and I actually gave it a really good review. So definitely check out that video, but let me know in the comments, did you pick up these Jordan Bread 9s, or did you pass, or did you strike out? Man, craziness. I did launch my patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. The podcast is available now. This week's brand new podcast. We talk about so much and it's definitely a must listen. I will give you a sample of the podcast right now where we discuss the whole thing that's going on with Money Kicks, the Young Dude Money Kicks, and Benjamin Kicks. There may be a boxing match going on between these two Young Buck sneakerheads. So I'm going to give you a little sample of the podcast just so you can hear what you're missing if you're not a member of patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. And if you like what you hear, you got an hour more of this content. So without further ado, let me give you this little sample. And if you enjoy what you like, head over to patreon.com backslash DJ Dells and definitely become a member. You'll get a podcast every week, a one hour podcast, if not longer, every single week, one hour of extra content don't worry i'm still going to be doing reviews here but this is extra work extra content that i'm giving to the diehards the people that really love me so much they just need more they need me to feed them more content so this is for you guys you ladies out there and that will be linked in the description box below for your convenience so let me hit you with the sample bomb <laughs> So this next topic, I think you guys are going to enjoy, and it's my opinion on this whole thing now about YouTubers boxing each other. We're seeing a lot of YouTubers going and boxing each other, boxing matches. We got that dude Adam boxing, um, I forgot what his name is, but um, he's a popular YouTuber. But getting to the sneaker culture, there's this guy, I'm sure a lot of you know, he's not even a guy, he's a kid. I think he's like 15 years old. He's super young, and he's from Dubai. Rich kid. The kid is filthy rich. His sneaker YouTube is money kick, so you already know, you better have that money. And he definitely has a lot of money. He has celebrities, he flies out, and he invites them to their house. He's got a zoo or something in his house. I've watched a bunch of his videos. I mean, they're good videos because he has celebrities there, takes them to the zoo, and then brings them into his house. And he has this really awesome sneaker room that's done really nicely. I mean, you got the money. You could get whatever you want. When you have money, you can have the dopest sneaker collection. I mean, if you think about it, it's not really a talent to buy all the rare shoes you know it is a talent though when you look at a sneaker collection and it's got stuff that most people don't have that may not even be worth so much money but is a rare gem like if you go to my sneaker room yes i do have sneakers that are worth thousands of dollars but i also have shoes that are maybe not worth that much money but if you see them you're gonna be like damn these are crazy i never knew this came out like you know, like, who has, like, the young Jeezy Adidas superstar? I don't know anyone that got that. Or who has the S. Dot Carter Jay-Z Kanye West shoe? Yes, that's going for, I think it's going for about $4,000, that shoe. But, you know, it's not always about the price tag of a sneaker, first of all. I just want to make that clear. I'm more impressed... By the selection i like seeing different flavors you know it's like eating the same food every day i mean that's got to be boring after a while if you just got all the freaking yeezys like yay yeah, you got all the damn yeezys but i mean show me different shit you know i like people like dj greg street he's got an awesome sneaker collection he'll break out all types of brands and that's what i'm into i mean if you're just into jordans or nikes that's cool and I can be impressed by that also, but if you're just someone that's filthy rich and you can just buy whatever you want, 
I would be more impressed if you showed me all the brands and, and different type of shit. You know what I mean? But a lot of these rich young kids, they like to just floss. They like to flex. And that's what kids do. That's what 15-year-olds do. 14-year-olds. I think he's 14, 15. Now, you got him. He's got his YouTube channel real successful, which it should be, because he got damn what so many celebrities that he flies out to Dubai to his house and in no shape and form am I hating on this kid at all. I think it's cool, man, what he's doing. He's creating cool content, bringing celebrities to his crib, takes them to the, you know, zoo and all types of stuff like that. It's fun to watch some of your favorite celebrities interacting with, you know, the zoo and all that. Not really the interaction with him. I'm going to be honest with you. But the animals, it's cool. And then with the sneakers, I feel like you could have replaced him with anyone in that environment and it would have been dope you know you could put anyone that's listening right now and fly um them to you know some amazing house with animals and you know then bring them in and show them this amazing crib and then show them you know in a beautiful sneaker room it's that this kid got a lot of money you know well his family got a lot of money but once again i'm not hating on him you know i think it's awesome that He's in this situation where he's able to do this, and it's a great idea what he did, so you got to give him credit. He put out a video, though, challenging another young sneaker dude, sneaker head, sneaker enthusiast, and he goes by the name of Benjamin Kicks. Used to see him all the time with DJ Khaled. I don't really see him with Khaled anymore. Maybe... Khaled, you know, he really got a real nice plug with Jordan brand now. I mean, he, damn what, he has his own shoe. So, you know, he's so plugged in. Maybe he just doesn't need Benjamin Kicks around anymore because you used to see him all the time on the Snapchat, like always. He was like one of DJ Khaled's sidekicks, you know, on the Snapchat because DJ Khaled basically got really, really, really famous off of Snapchat and just being himself and showing his personality. Of course, he was a huge DJ before that, and you can't discredit all the amazing work he did. Even back in the days, the mixtapes he did. I still have a CD I found in my garage, a mixtape with him and DJ Tony Touch. And, I mean, this was in probably early 2000s when I got this CD, this mixtape. I think I bought it over at Fat Beats downtown in Manhattan, which is no longer open. R.I.P. to Fat Beats. Getting back to this story, he challenged Benjamin Kicks to a boxing match. Money Kicks challenged Benjamin to a boxing match. Now, these are two young kids. How do you guys feel about this? I mean... I know there's, and there you go with a little sample. If you want more, patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. Become a member. Thanks for tuning in. Much love. We out.